everyone welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel I am Dr. Gomati in the previous video we have discussed about what is dimension and how to create this dimension with a scenario and with a sample exam with a simple example okay so here you can see this is what the dimension which we have created in the previous video if you have missed it please go and watch it in the playlist okay you can find this playlist here in my channel okay you can find the playlist in my channel if you haven't subscribed it please subscribe to my channel for uh, for the functional video and you can see that the functional video i'll be up uploading the functional video every sunday at 5 pm and you can see all the functional uh, consultant video here this is the playlist which i have and also you can learn everything about it okay consider joining as a member in my channel so that you will get exclusive access to them books like uh, pdf documents slides interview questions everything so you can get access to it so what is all about uh, today's topic is what in the previous video we have i have shown you like how to create a dimension what is dimension but i haven't discussed anything in detail about what is the dimension value type uh, what is this how to give this anything so we'll be discussing about all these all these things today so a dimension is a type of information that you want to add to your entry this is like labeling or tagging so uh, a dimension value is one of the possible values for a dimension that you can add it to your entry okay for example a single sales entry can include multiple dimension information such as the account uh, that the item sale was posted region who sold it and the kind of customer who bought the item okay so to manually create a dimension i have discussed this how to create this manual dimension in my previous video and we will be discussing about what all these things are okay so the first thing which we have discussed is what the e code okay this is a unique identifier for the dimension so you can see here that even while creating a dimension how to create a dimension just go to the search page types dimension where you can uh, you can see the dimension page and here you can see how to create a dimension so once if you click new you can see a dimension okay and here you can see that this is a code so whatever the code you are entering is unique one okay now I, if i try I, I have activity dimension already if i try to enter activity again so what happens it will give you, give me an error so the dimension should be unique so this is what the code represents okay so dimension is unique here and the name field is to enter your dimension name you can enter the dimension name and even if you want to give the code caption here okay so you have other metadata if you wanted to add which is code name code caption okay if you wanted to give this code caption you can give it so which determines the field name of a shortcut dimension when a dimension is set up as a shortcut dimension the dimension will be shown as a field when you are entering dimensions in a journal document okay and this is filter caption this determines the name of the dimension filter field when the dimension is used as a filter if you are trying to use this dimension as a filter so what is the name of the filter and this is the description so here you can see this is a description describes the dimension to clarify its purpose so you can write more here okay if you just select here you can type something here and finally blocked so this is blocked which blocks the posting of a journal that contains specific dimension so if you feel like no one should um, use this dimension okay so you can block this dimension for posting okay so this is what so once you have created a dimension so now you can see that once i have created a dimension you can just uh, create um, that is you can set up a dimension values okay so you can for example uh if we can consider a simple scenario here imagine you are running a small retail business that sells electronic gadgets you want to track and analyze your sales revenue by product category and by salesperson in this case you can use dimension so what are the dimensions you will be creating you will be creating the first dimension which is product category dimension okay product category this is the dimension where this dimensions allow you all this dimension allow you to categorize products into different categories like smartphone or laptop okay or headset or something like accessories 
so these are the uh, dimension items you wanted to add okay if you want to add the dimension items you now we have created the dimension but you this is the name of the dimension on the code but you have to add some items into the dimension right so if you want to add some items into the dimension then you have to select this okay so what we will be doing this we will be going to the dimension and click dimension values okay you have to select here dimension values so once if you select dimension values okay so once if you select something and click dimension and dimension values it will take you to the dimension values page okay for example if you have created the dimension department you can set up the values like sales administration or production like what we have discussed is like a product category okay so you can create a laptop or um laptop mobile phone smartphones and accessories like that as dimension can have as many as values you want you, it's not anything uh, restricted like only five values you should have or only 100 values you should have so you can have n number of dimensions here so to create a new dimension values you have to go to this new okay once if you click new you can start typing the code as i mentioned in the previous so this is also the unique code for every dimensions okay so you can enter the dimension here okay the, so here you can tell the unicode so um, uh, you can uh, as uh, you can add like some numbers okay now i'm just trying to add a unicode as a b c okay so this is also possible but it is better to go ahead with what with the numbers because you can remember the numbers okay so go with the numbers so here you can see this is the code you have to give and you have to give the name okay so for example here i'm just going to give like um uh, 300 and i am going to here as the product category okay okay so this is the name of the dimension value which i am going to pass provides the full name of the dimension value here okay and next comes the dimension value type this is very very important determines how a dimension value is used when posted how you're going to use it so by using these types a hierarchical relationship between the dimension values can be set up so some dimension values can be considered as subset of another dimension values by business central so here you can see the various dimension um, type okay dimension value type so if you click here you can see you have five dimension values right one is a standard standard posting of dimension values if you are just giving a standard posting okay heading is for a group of dimension values if you are going to make it as a group of dimension value you will be using it total so total of a series of balances on a dimension values that don't immediately come before the total dimension values and this is begin total marker for the beginning of series of dimension values to be totaled okay for example here you can see the charts tables bundles i want to see all these totals as a single one so what i have marked this as a begin total okay this option is used with the end total dimension so whenever you are using a begin total you have to end the total so while ending the total you have to use the same name of the dimension so here if you uh, end the total okay end total of a series of a dimension values so this option is used with the begin total one day of the type okay so once you have created okay so you have to go to the action and click a function if you wanted to indent it okay if you wanted to make it like see here you can see i have indented this is a furniture these three um three furniture types comes under this uh, furniture dimension values comes under this so i have indented this and you can see here that when where it is starting and where it is ending you can see that it is the this is the start of the furniture dimension and this is the end of the furniture dimension okay so posting can only be made to the dimension values with the standard or begin total value type so you can only make the uh, postings if it is a standard or a begin total type okay you cannot go with the heading or end total or oh, sorry uh, or the total 
okay so totaling which is identifies the dimension value uh, interval or a list of dimension values which are used to total the entries for the dimension values that are displayed in the field to give a total balances okay like uh, if the dimension value type is standard heading or begin total if you are manually populating it if the dimension value type is total okay like that so here it is very very important and whenever you are clicking blocked okay whenever you are using a block the posting of journals that contain specific dimension values which means that you have blocked the posting uh, for this specific dimension values even you can use this okay <clears throat> so if you wanted to use the indented like for example while creating you know like if i, I have created this okay i have make, made it as a begin total okay and if you wanted to make it that these are all the indented one so the star of tables and furnitures comes under the furniture dimension if you want to tell you can go to the action and click autumn uh, functions and click indent dimensions which i have already discussed with you so uh, while indenting Uh, you, if you, if you want to indent all the dimension, then you have to start like this. You have to tell if it is a beginning of the dimension value. You have to start with in begin total, and if if it is an end of the um, uh, indentation, then you have to end with the end end total. Okay, so this is how you can uh, create the dimension, and this is all about the dimension. You have other things like if you want to delete the dimension, just simply. click here and click delete your value will be deleted and if you want to search something in your dimension for example if you have more than uh, um okay if you have more than 1000 records or 10000 records you cannot go and search for it but if you know the code or name of that you can just simply type here and search for it okay so if you wanted to learn about manual posting so i have already uh, explained you about the manual posting thing so stay tuned if you want any specific topics to be discussed just let me know in the comments so that i can help you out and uh, this is my blog so this is my blog where you can find a uh, lot of information about uh, the functional consultant and the technical consultant i'll be posting the exercises for the functional consultant here so you can check it and also i'll be posting a lot of um, interview questions to see okay uh, to learn and everything so you can find it here so don't forget to uh, check here and follow my blog for the updates okay thank you for your time thank you for learning and i'll meet you with a different set of uh, um, topic to discuss in the next video take care bye bye